we had a fairly outdated system that had kind of multiple instances per client. It was rather um, clunky to maintain, constantly updating slight variances between all the applications, meaning you mul you're maintaining multiples and not a lot of data consistency. So essentially we were brought in to kind of rewrite this platform, create a single uh, multi-tenanted platform, all that, and migrate all of the data from these multiple individual systems across. Um, one of the key things we were trying to solve here is for scalability and growth. So the, it's much easier to add new clients to go, not having to maintain all these things. Um, improve cost effectiveness as well. So it's a lot cheaper to maintain the system as well as you're running a lot fewer resources to run this whole system because you're not running a million instances of it. And then one of the other big things was to kind of start towards the cloud readiness goal as this wasn't a cloud wasn't really an, a big factor when we started this project. It was always something we kept in mind for later. So this is in the insurance sector, premium collection in that. Um, I think they were at one point may still be one of the biggest premium collectors in the country um, for short term insurance. So what we did is we created a multi tenanted, I suppose in lay speak, what that means is you can have multiple different clients and multiple different users all on the same system. The system itself isolates the data from each other as opposed to having entirely separate instances of the system. That allows for better reuse of code, much better maintainability and much better performance because you're sharing the same things. So the solution was to provide the brokers with a premium collection via app or um, a web interface that gave them flexibility to work from wherever with the workflows built in they needed to manage the collections and approvals and all of that type of stuff. The initial system started in 2014. We started the rewrite and started doing this. Um, and in 2021, we started the cloud migration into Azure. Um, this is still an ongoing process. Uh, I'll touch on that later. Basically, the, the key things we wanted to do here is we needed to increase make it very secure. So kind of all access controlled workflows, obviously dealing with a lot of money here going in and out the um, the control processes and the workflows and everything were key to the process. It needed to be able to scale as the business growed, adding new clients, adding all of that. We needed to make sure scalability was that um, uptime and availability was a key factor as well. This needed to be not just work during business hours because this was going into a web interface and everything. We needed to allow people to essentially clients connect from anywhere at any time and work at any hour of the day. Um, so that was one of the key things. And then obviously modernized. Um, this was written originally in very old tech, making it much more difficult to maintain, as well as the user interface was quite old and clunky. So we kind of re revitalized that and modernized the whole thing. The project was, um, as alluded to by the fact that I mentioned the collections and disbursements, is in the insurance sector. This is a third party that essentially does premium collections on behalf of brokers and insurance companies. Um, they're one of the largest collectors of um, insurance premiums in the country. BBD was brought in in 2014 to start the initial rewrite of the app. And in 2021, we began the migration into um, Azure. Basically, the key things we were trying to do in this project um, was security. We needed to, the security workflows, obviously a lot of money going through the system. So it needed to be absolutely secure. The workflows controlling when payments are allowed to go through, when um, Premium collections are allowed to be added and all of that stuff needed to be very, very um, nailed down and very, very secure and bedded down. Also uptime and availability. This thing needed to pretty much be available 24 seven whenever anyone wanted. because it was now a web interface much more available to the client. We also needed to make sure we were available not just during core business hours so that clients could load um, premium collection files at any time of night, even though they'd only be approved and the workflows might go through the next day. The stuff needed to be kind of set up the night before the clients should be able to work whenever they wanted to. And again, it was an, a fairly old and clunky um, UI and the tech that was used. So we modernized it on the UI side as well as on the tech side to make maintainability and everything a lot easier. Our initial cloud migration is essentially lift and shift. Um, we've just lift and shift is essentially almost always the first step to a cloud migration. It's taking whatever you're running on prem or in data centers and just moving them like for like into VMs running in the cloud. The cloud wasn't necessarily one of the original goals. In 2014 in South Africa, the cloud wasn't a massively adopted thing. So while it was a nice idea, it was more seen as, oh, the devs just want to play with new, to new toys. Um, it took a while for the business value of the cloud to become really apparent. And with local data centers, that's also become a lot easier with Poppy 
coming a poppy wasn't quite a thing yet but everyone knew it was on the horizon with data residency needing to be stored in certain things people weren't sure so the cloud was avoided initially by that but that didn't mean we weren't we didn't have an eye on it the key things the cloud brings um as far as i'm concerned with a whole bunch of other things is scalability and elasticity meaning if you're running batch processes overnight you don't need to keep paying for the processing power it would require to run those batch processes you can literally just burst up your processing power that you need run all those batch processes and then stop paying as soon as they're done um, incidentally this is one of the big things we did do and it massively massively decreased the amount of time it takes to run those batch processes because when you've got a fixed capacity you you can't go for the best case scenario to run batch processes and then most of your resources sit there idle so we literally now as we need it, we buy as much processing power as we can, kill those batch processes, and then just drop it down again and go. A highly proficient, great team of BBD engineers that we brought in to kind of do this project pretty much added a lot of value at the end of the day. Um, our key things from the beginning was modernization, and with that came the operational maintenance and upgrade cost savings. This just means that it is a lot cheaper to make any changes we need to do, which is upgrading and maintenance, and also just running the system on a day-to-day -day basis became cheaper and less difficult. So from year onwards, what we will be doing, we'll be moving on to using more cloud native databases. We'll be looking at re-architecting some of the system to not run on VMs, to more run using cloud native um, systems, platforms as a service, um, which give us better maintainability, uptime, less maintenance on our side that's needed, and in general, just allows you much more flexibility.